In this video, I would like to explain basic anatomy of deltoid. Deltoid is very, very wide and big muscle in shoulder joint. I am going to explain its origin, insertion, and functions. In this video, I'd like to divide deltoid three parts. Okay, this is anterior fiber. This is middle fiber here and posterior fiber right here. If you look up the researches, the some researches divide even more, like six parts. However, in this video, I divide three parts. Let's look at origin. The origin of deltoid is very, very wide. It attaches on clavicle, 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 and acromion, acromion, then spine of scapula. So basically, it attaches on clavicle and scapula. Okay, this is very, very wide origin. It attaches on the anterior part of shoulder, middle part of the shoulder, and posterior part of the shoulder. This is very, very important. Now let's look at insertion. Insertion is here. This is kind of tiny point, right, compared to origin. This place is deltoid tuberosity. Deltoid tuberosity. This is very narrow place. Origin is very, very wide. And insertion is very narrow. Now, because origin is so wide, deltoid has so many functions. Now, let me explain functions of deltoid. Okay, I said deltoid can be divided three parts. So, depends on the fibers, the each function is different. However, in general, in general, all three fibers do abduction of shoulder. Abduction means you raise up the shoulder sideways, like this way. Okay, so these fibers, all fibers do abduction. Now, if you look very, very carefully, each fibers do different things. So what was general function of deltoid? It's abduction, right? Abduction is general function. Let's look at anterior fiber. This part. What happens if anterior fiber pulls humerus this way? What kind of movement would happen? Of course, abduction. This is general function. What about other functions? It can be Flexion. Flexion. Flexion is you bring arm forward. Okay? Flexion plus internal rotation. Internal rotation. And one more thing. When you raise up arm 90 degrees and you bring arm this way, this is horizontal adduction horizontal adduction it's like a dumbbell fly of the weight training you know when you do dumbbell fly you raise up a uh, shoulder 90 degrees then you close arms right so horizontal adduction is like dumbbell fly so review of function of anterior fiber it's flexion internal rotation and horizontal adduction okay let's look at middle fiber middle fiber is on the middle part of the shoulder so it does not have the lot of effect for flexion or internal rotation like horizontal adduction like anterior fiber because it's on the middle part if middle fiber pulls humerus this way, 
it moves fumerous this way, what kind of movement is this? This is abduction, right? Okay, now let's move on to the posterior fiber. Posterior fiber is this part. This part. What happens if posterior fiber pulls humerus this way? What's gonna happen? It's totally opposite from anterior fiber. So you just write down the opposite function. What is opposite from flexion? It's extension. Extension of shoulder. Extension. Okay. Now, what is opposite from internal rotation? It's external rotation, right? External rotation. Now, what is opposite from horizontal adduction? It's horizontal abduction. Horizontal abduction. It is uh, opposite movement from dumbbell fry. Oh, by the way, of course, posterior fiber also does abduction. Of course, it's general function. Oh my gosh, how many functions did I just write? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shoulder movements. That's a lot, right? I think deltoid does everything except adduction. Adduction is when you close arm, right? That's so busy muscle, right? Thus, deltoid is very, very important muscle for shoulder movement. For next part, I'd like to explain the relationship with pectoralis major. So what kind of relationship does deltoid have with pectoralis major? Especially, I'd like to focus on anterior fiber, right here. This is anterior fiber. And what is, what is this guy? This is part of pec major, pectoralis major here. If you look carefully, there is not obvious separation here between deltoid and pec major. Let me erase the pen. You see that? There is not much obvious separation between deltoid and pec major. So, it's like a fascial continuation there. If anterior deltoid gets tight, that can affect pec major. Vice versa, if pec major gets tight, anterior deltoid can be affected. Plus, the function of pec major and deltoid are kind of similar, right? What was function of anterior deltoid? Flexion. Flexion. Okay? Internal rotation. And horizontal adduction. I will not write it down. And pec major can do such a movement. Except pec major can do adduction. But their functions are quite similar. So functionally, anatomically, these guys have some the common the factors each other. So anterior deltoid and pec major are very, very connected each other, functionally and anatomically. Oh my gosh, I explained the basic anatomy and function of deltoid. I explained origin, insertion, functions, and connection with pec major. Deltoid is very important for shoulder movement. I hope this video helps your understanding of anatomy. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.